Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the, about material that's maybe better than CDC. And yes, I said it. Maybe better than CDC. Second thing I want to talk about is the importance about the less is more, especially about dubbing, and also about thread control, which is never enough. And probably a couple more things along the way. But yeah, these three, three things are most important. <laughs> So I'm starting with Semperfly Nano Silk in 50 denier. Uh, I waxed the thread before this uh, just to give some more friction here. I'll start by creating body and body is going to be Kapok. I'm choosing Kapok here because it's super nice to dub and it will demonstrate the importance of what I said, the less is more. So olive is the base color. What I want to do, I want to use relatively small amounts of kapok as you can see dub it onto the thread create slim dubbing noodle and create dubbing noodle in length that i desire for start that's it that is around 2 to 2.5 centimeters in length uh more or less as much as i want uh, as i need to cover the whole hook shank here now i'm uh, making super thin dubbing noodle now and compact as well you see it and I want the dubbing noodle to be thicker near the hook and gets thinner down as I approach to the rear. Uh, this will give taper to, uh, to the body of the fly and it's just easier to work with when you have just a little bit of dubbing in your fingers because as I said you have more control. Now always Never do this with your dubbing, back and forth, always in clockwise manner. Uh, by doing so, uh, you will add more structure to your fly because when dubbed in clockwise direction, uh, the thread with every wrap also gets clockwise twist. So dubbing actually gets twisted a little bit more as you wrap, uh, as you wrap it around the hook shank. And now you will see that taper coming down when I need more I just add more uh, flipping hook upside down uh, is easier more convenient because as you will see there is no hook point in my way so there is nothing to stab me or hear or hurt me yeah in any way now when I reach the bend I will take another clump of kapok in yellow color it looks quite bright right now but you will see it's not nearly as bright when you combine it with green and this time same applies same kind of motion clockwise twist but this time the dubbing noodle should be uh, more or less even in thickness as much as you can make it obviously but again let me repeat if you use less uh, you have more control so you can actually edit slowly gradually and create a big noodle uh, that you need so I'll just create ribs here I want to make it a little bit more compact here because it looks thick okay one to just let it open up a little bit here and yes that's it now look what happens when I just pull everything it kind of evens up gets this velvety feel and that's it now I want to flip the hook a little bit upwards because of the shape I didn't mention the hook it's TM 108 spear point barbless in size 16 uh, I'm choosing it because when I add wing material now, the wing material will stay above the water and the body will go under the water. Emerger fly. Emergers are highly, highly uh, effective flies, so yeah, that's why I like them. Now, the wing material is this. Well, not exactly this seed, but uh, after you plant this seed, let the tree grow, uh, you get a fruit, kind of fruit, that's papaya 
looking like uh, without meat inside obviously uh, but inside you get something like this and yes it is kapok kapok is highly buoyant hydrophobic material and that's why i'm using it for the wings here uh, there are advantages here so being highly buoyant makes it ideal for the wings uh, downsides are that it is very uh, short fine and it comes in one natural color and that's this just a little bit beige almost white the lamp is too too, too close here so it looks white but it's actually beige uh, yeah uh, those fibers are short so you need to kind of work them out align them see this group of fibers here is already aligned and it has length of maybe centimeter and a half and that's more or less as much as you need it here in length so by just prepping it like so you're evening evening up those tips getting also those equal fibers together it does require a little bit of maintenance but when you get it it's there now what I want to do is I want to counter spin the bobbin holder make a couple of wraps over here just to put base to it and add some beeswax unlike Davy McPhail and now Kelly Gallup started using it as well I don't have idea how to put it to stand on my finger it's just too hard the wax so counter spin the bobbin holder to make it jump into your fingers of your left hand you have more control as you can see without any pressure I'm placing this wrap where I want it one this is just a little bit of pressure like almost nothing two and then squeeze everything on the top of the hook and pull upwards to prevent rotation add one more that's kind of it I want to pull it back because I want it a little bit back yeah that's it now I want to pull out all the fibers that are loose I mean they're gonna fall out regardless but yeah I want to know where I'm at with the wing right now so I'll just go around it to collect everything here and yes that's it I'm gonna twist it up to have more control I'm almost there I forgot to mention something to just test and kind of prove the buoyancy of this fly I left a couple of these flies before I started this video actually I made a couple of more videos but uh, yeah so maybe 45 minutes those flies are in the water and I'll take pictures of them uh, to demonstrate how buoyant this is I didn't put them on the water gently I just threw them in the water anyway uh, let me do the thorax thorax is rabbit the rabbit stubbing uh, mixed with some uh, pink UV I like those spiky hairs that are from the body of the rabbit not from the uh, well combined mask and body uh, but they give some more uh, structure to the fly uh, it also aids buoyancy those guard hairs they can actually make your fly float a little bit better because they create surf surface tension and yes that's it so this noodle is not th uh, compact it's a little bit loose there is a reason to it as I said I need those hairs to stick out so I'm going behind and in front kind of crisscrossing it I can do a collecting wrap around it like around the parachute and then continue with everything I just want this wing to stay upwards and I need to collect this stubbing a little bit around the thread here not too much and yes that's it now with flat thread although not so important with uh, with GSP because it won't break but with finish knot will look much better uh, with flat thread create with finish knot that's it the white with uh, white thread will actually get the color from beneath and now I'll actually add some more wax onto the 
thread and create another with finish knot so I don't have to varnish the fly and that's it to cut the GSP doing so is not very productive either press the blade against it but make it tight or go through through it with a v-shaped scissors I prefer to make a some tight connection here and then just press the blade and tuck the rest of the thread under the web finishing knot now here I can do cutting of those wings a little bit like so and yeah that's it from below looks nice from above looks nice it's very buoyant as you will see very easy to maintain because it's hydrophobic and uh, there are no barbules that are going to get matted down like if it's CDC and that's the advantage of it uh, depending on the size of the fly you will use more or less of this material you can make it into the loop if you want uh, you can just make it into a shuttlecock um, position so facing forwards or whatever you want just use it same CDC and see what happens thank you for watching and see you next time